Quinn. Hello, darling. Hey. Hi. Quinn, I'm so glad you're here. You never guess who's in the living room. Who? Oh. My stalker. So Whitney showed me the video, and so I finally realized Teresa was never stalking me. It was just a series of accidents. But it was Teresa the whole time. Yes, that's right. Well, I don't understand why you didn't just say so earlier when Frank ripped off her disguise. Well, I was worried that Teresa's mother, Pilar, might lose her job as our housekeeper. I'm glad I covered for her now that I know Teresa didn't mean any harm. Ethan, these accidents that Teresa caused, do they happen around other people? No, see, that's what's weird. She's only accident-prone around me. Really? Why do you think that is? Why would you have that effect on her? Beats me. Teresa, you know my girlfriend Gwen, and this is her good friend uh, Whitney. Of course, Whitney. Hi. Hello, Teresa. Hi. I never realized you were so pretty. Oh, thank you. Well, I guess Ethan told you everything. He did, yes. Must have been very disconcerting having everyone thinking that you were the stalker. It was. I, um, I just want you to know how sorry I am for causing all those accidents to Ethan. I accept, Ethan. I'd love to come back to work here. Back to work? Here? <laughs> yes, I asked Teresa if she would consider coming back to her old job. A mother's completely disorganized without her. <laughs> She'll be thrilled, just as Gwen and I are. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Congratulations, Teresa. Everything seems to be working out for you. I know. Isn't it great? The last time I was in this house, I ran out the front door in tears thinking I'd never be allowed to set foot in here again. <laughs> it's amazing. And now I'll be working for Ivy Crane again. It's like a fairy tale. Yeah, it is in a way. <laughs> but I think it might be best if we don't mention to my parents that Teresa was responsible for my accidents. I mean, my mother's very protective. It might just complicate things. Of course. Whatever you say. Thanks again. I'll never be able to tell you how much this means to me. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. Yeah, I thought you might enjoy my father's tennis album, since I hear you're such a great tennis player yourself. Oh, well, thanks. It's actually amazing, because he has photos and clippings of practically every tennis champion I've ever heard of. Yeah, that's my dad. He doesn't do anything halfway. <laughs> There's just um, one question I had. Do you know why my father's picture is in there? Yeah, I didn't know it was. Yeah, see, right here, with this old news clipping of a tennis championship he was in years ago. Oh, it's a mystery to me. I didn't even know my father knew T.C. Russell. Well, maybe your dad knows what he's doing in here. Maybe. Well, thanks again, Ethan. Uh, thanks. Please uh, tell your mother I'll be ready to start back to work here tomorrow. I sure will. And I can tell you right now she can't wait. <laughs> I'll see you at the door. Okay, bye. 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 Finally. We're alone. <laughs> Not only that, my stocking episode is finally behind us. Well, Teresa seems happy about that. Yeah, she was, but I'm still going to make it up to her. <laughs>